Throughout the years, there have always been things astronomers didn't understand. At the beginning of the 20th century, they started using a term for little anomalies that made no sense, unless they were something they couldn't see. Dark matter. A lot of their measurements were inaccurate or wrong, but they were onto something. What was it? This is Vera Rubin. She is 14 years old, and she just built her own telescope. She will major in astronomy and try to enroll in a graduate program that doesn't accept women. She will learn two key things. First, that being a woman will make her academic life very difficult. And second, the Doppler effect. This effect consists of light being more blue when the source moves towards the observer, and more red when the source moves away. So, when a light source is spinning, half of it looks bluer and half looks redder. This is also true of galaxies, with an addition. The center should spin faster than the borders, like spinning spaghetti. So, the blue and red should be a lot more intense in the center than in the borders. However, when Rubin started studying our closest galaxy, the colors were uniform. Everything was spinning at the same velocity, and way, way faster than it should. She quickly checked other galaxies, measuring that phenomenon, and she saw that it happened for every one of them. Galaxies seem to be wrapped in a halo of invisible matter that accelerates the spin with its gravitational pull. That additional matter would hold together all the stars, gas and dust, but it would not interact with light at all. So it wasn't just a little anomaly, it was everywhere. Vera Rubin was the first person to find accurate evidence of dark matter, and she calculated that it accounts for about 85% of matter in the universe. Still today, scientists face the great challenge of detecting and studying dark matter particles. Until then, the mystery of what holds galaxies together lives on.